Hey there guys! Welcome back to Bam Glam! I know it's been a while. I've been busy kasi lately. And recently, I went on a trip with my husband. We went to Boracay to celebrate his birthday. I was supposed to film this there, but the lighting is really bad in the hotel. At the same time, it's just a very short trip, so I want to spend my time with my husband lang talaga muna. So today, I'm gonna show you my makeup routine while I was in Boracay. By the way, this is how I usually look while I was there. Here are some photos. So let's get started. I usually just start my skincare with um, using micellar water after I wash my face. Kasi um, usually, kapag nasa ibang lugar talaga kami, nagkakaroon ako ng kung ano-anong allergies. Siguro sa water, I make sure na I use micellar water after I wash my face. Kahit nag-double cleanse pa ako while washing my face. Kasi after that, definitely magkakaroon ako ng mga bombs, rashes. So, ayun, I usually use micellar water. And then, since this is a beach trip, hindi ako masyado naglalagay ng heavy moisturizer. So, I apply a moisturizing toner lang muna. And this one is Rovectin uh, Activating Treatment Lotion. This is a really good one, guys. Just to add a little bit of brightening on my routine. So, I use this one from Milano CC. The name of this one is Milano CC Brightening Lotion in Rich. Kasi may light and rich version. This one is the rich version. Para siyang, ano, hadalabo. Now, ganun. I know, guys, that some of you will say, but ka naman mag-makeup? Eh, nasa beach ka naman. Ba't kailangan pa mag-makeup? Well, well, I do understand that some people really don't want to apply makeup pag nasa beach sila or any vacation na involves um, water activities. But for me kasi, I really like going to the beach. Super healing namin ang husband ko mag-beach. But you know what? <laughs> Mahilig ako mag-beach pero hindi ako mahilig mag-swimming. Yeah. I know. Gusto ko na yung totoo nga ako sa beach, ganyan. Nakikita ko yung daga, tapos picture-picture lang, kain, try ng mga food dun sa area. Pero hindi talaga ako mahilig mag-swimming at hindi ako marunong lumangoy, guys. So, I know, it's kind of funny to know na I'm a beach person. No, that's how they draw. But yeah, I really love going to the beach but I don't like to swim. Yun, yun lang yun. <laughs> so, kaya ako nag- May makeup? Oh, sa wala. Gusto ko lang maganda. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? So anyway, yun lang yung pinaka moisturizer ko kapag daytime. Then right after that, I'm going to apply my favorite sunscreen. And this one's from Bure. Inubos ko na nga lang to guys kasi actually bago na yung packaging ni, ni Bure ngayon. Hindi na ganyan yung tsura niya. So guys, you make sure na kapag pupunta kayo ng beach, don't forget to apply sunscreen like all over your body, your face, even on your ears. Now, ang technique ko usually para hindi masyadong mangitim yung face ko. But guys, remember, kapag nagsa-sunscreen kayo, that doesn't mean na hindi kayo iitim. Iitim pa rin kayo. It's just that your skin will not be burned or will not be burned easily. So, hindi porket nag-sunscreen kayo, pwede kayo magpa-araw at hindi kayo mangitim. Especially in my case na... Mahilig kasi ako gumamit ng vitamin C or something na mahilig din ako mag-peeling whatsoever. Something that will make my skin photosensitive. So, that means medyo mas reactive siya sa sun. So, I really make sure na hindi ako masyadong nagpapaaraw. Pag nag-picture lang, ganyan. I make sure na I still have my hat, ganyan. I have cover-ups. So, anyway, I usually reapply another layer of sunscreen stick. Well, this is optional guys ha, kasi Sa ibang tao, this is already too much and may break them out. But for me, it works. Talaga na protect na yung skin ko. The sunscreen stick I'm using is from AHC. And I really like this sunscreen stick, guys. It's not oily. Look at that. It didn't give my skin any additional glow. Kasi talagang parang medyo matte siya. Hindi mo nga siya maramdaman actually. Sobrang lightweight niya sa face. So that's the skincare part. So now let's move on to the makeup part. Well, whenever I go to the beach, hindi ako talaga na for foundation whatsoever kasi I don't feel comfortable. But if you're com comfortable using foundation kapag nasa beach, it's up to you. What I use instead is 
something like this. Now, this bottle is really heavy because it's made of glass. So, nagdekanta ko sa ganito. Para siyang pump. Ganito na yung dala ko sa trip. Siguro, I'll get this much only. So, yan. Gagamit ko siya dito lang. Halos wala rin naman din tong coverage. It's just that it's really... It will just really give your skin some glow. Here. Kita na. Medyo to tone down ko yung light. Kasi someone commented last time that my my vanity lights were too bright. Honestly, kasi ang lapit ko po sa salamin kapag nagme-makeup ako kasi I'm nearsighted. <laughs> Nagsasalamin kasi talaga ako, guys. So, usually when I do my makeup, super lapit ko talaga. Like, I am this close to the mirror. <laughs> Ganyan. Kasi I am nearsighted. So, yun. Ayan. Wala naman, siya masy Wala naman talaga siyang coverage. It will just give you healthy glow skin. Ko pala na-record kanina. So anyway, after that, I apply this magic tint. This one is from Hello Glow. It's a magic tint. So kapag nilabas na ganyan, white lang siya. And then, pag in-apply mo siya sa cheeks, magiging pink na siya. Guys, ito talaga yung pangmalakasan kong blush. As in, kung kailangan ko magtatagal talaga. Ito talaga. Grabe to. Actually, ito yung ginagamit ko kapag nagba-badminton ka manang husband ko. Mahilig kasi ka mag-badminton. So, kapag after ko mag-badminton, grabe, andun pa din siya. Tapos, kahit mag-oil cleanser ako after, nandun pa din siya. May natitira pa rin talaga. Pang malakasan talaga tong, tong tint na to. Mind you guys, kapag in-apply mo to, kailangan mabilis ka mag-blend. Kasi kapag hindi, magkakaroon talaga siya ng patches. Now, after my blush, I apply some highlighter. I really love this product. And this one is from Vice Cosmetics. The Multiganda Highlighting Stick in the Shade Society. Hindi ko pa ito review Pero medyo matagal ko na siyang ginagamit. And I really enjoy this one. So, ganyan siya. Highlighter siya. But pag nilagay mo, it's almost like a clear balm. Wala siyang visible shimmers, guys. But I do understand that some people might not like this. Kasi it's a bit emollient. But for me, I really like yung mga ganitong texture. Yung very emollient kasi that's how I want my makeup to look like. Yung dewy. Yung parang may wet skin effect. Ganun. So, I really, really enjoyed using this one. Especially if I wanted to look dewy pero no makeup makeup look. Oh my gosh, it's the best. I know that I already applied my blush but I will add another blush. And this one is the Detail Color Tonic in the shade Flamingo. Just a little bit. Ba't ako nag add ng another blush? Wala na kasi marami akong blush. <laughs> Char. And then, kasi I just want to uh, something that will blend with the uh, cream highlighter. Mas maganda kasi siya kapag nag-blend with the blush. And then, yung Hello Glow Tint naman, I usually apply it para kahit mawala na yung, yung nandito on top, may blush pa rin kasi grabe hindi talaga natatanggal yung basta-basta. So anyway, I usually use a stipping brush like this one. And then, I blend the cream blush together with the highlighter. And look at that. Look at that. Super nice glow. Ang ganda. And by the way, guys, another tip pala. When you apply your blush, it's better na ilagpas mo siya hanggang dito sa under eyes mo. Doon sa may part na may eye bags ka. Kasi para nagka-color correct ka, medyo matotone down niya yung darkness. So, anyway, look at that glow. I mean, guys, ang ganda. Can you see that glow? Can you see that glow? Now that I'm happy with my glow, I am now going to apply a little bit of concealer. Just a little bit. And for this one, I love using this concealer from Sephora. This is the best skin ever concealer. Kasi, guys, grabe tong concealer na to. It really looks natural on my skin. Like, almost undetectable. Ganun kaganda kapag bineblend ko siya. 
but of course the effect may not be similar for everyone but to me it's so skin light so ginto lang ganto lang ko ang tila lagay ko a little bit here So another tip when applying concealer under your eyes and you want it to look really natural, wag niyo siya masyado idikit do sa lash, sa lower lash line mo. There's something about it na kapag sinagad mo siya sa lower lash line mo, nagmumukha siyang unnatural. So as much as possible, hindi mo siya masyadong ibiblend papunta sa lower lash line. Nagalagay lang ng very little dito sa outer part, lower lash line. Pero dito sa ilalim na to, 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 tong area na to, hindi ako naglalagay ng masyadong makapal na concealer dyan. Kasi dyan din kasi yung may, may tendency na mag-crease. So kapag nag-hold, kita kagad. And dun sa eyelids ko naman, hindi rin ako naglalagay ng concealer on this part. Kasi definitely mag-crease yan. So dito lang ako halos naglalagay. Yung tira na lang dun sa sponge, yun yung ilalagay ko bandang brows ko. Check this out. You see what I mean about almost undetectable talaga. Yung concealer na to. This is so underrated, guys. So, there. Happy na ako dito. Okay na ako dito. May <laughs> sa coverage na yan. Although, I still have a little bit of spots. Siguro, I'll try to spot conceal na lang later. So na, I'm going to set my face with a translucent powder. Guys, alam nyo ba kung ano lang gamit ko? <laughs> ito. Recently, ito yung lagi kong gamit. It's a baby powder. It's from Tiny Buds. It's their rice baby powder. Kasi tag free siya. It's translucent. And it has a really good oil control. So, ganyan siya. Di ba, white? Pero kapag nilagay mo na siyang ganyan, binilend mo, walang white cast. Tapos, it has this slight, slight sheen. Ang ganda nitong powder na to, guys. Try nyo. Tapos, ang ganda ng oil control niya. They have this type. Meron din sila yung parang nasa, um, yung may puff. What I did is, bumili ako ng ganitong klaseng compact. Meron siyang ano, ayan, may mirror na siya, and at the same time, may puff. Tapos, mesh. Ito lang yung pinangsaset ko sa makeup ko. Yan na yun. Nalagay ko na siya sa buong face ko. And then, I'll just grab a smaller brush just to remove any excess powder and to buff that into my skin, especially in this area. Kaya hindi rin muna ako nag-spot conceal kasi kapag nag-spot conceal na ako, nag-buff ako ng face ko, mabubura lang siya. So, better to apply na lang the concealer after I buff the powder on my face. You can see, guys, nagpipeak through pa rin talaga yung highlighter na nilagay natin kanina. Diba? So, nag-set ako ng face ko using this powder, pero, hindi niya talaga totally tinanggal yung, yung healthy glow from my skin. That's why I really like this powder, guys. Super nice. Mm. I really like how it looks on my skin. It looks really natural. Now, pwede na tayo mag-spot conceal. Optional naman, nung nasa bora kayo ko, actually, halos din ako nag-spot conceal kasi alam ko naman matatanggal lang siya, lalo pag pinawisan ako. Anyway, if you really want to spot conceal, by the way, I'm using this one from NARS. It's their um, soft matte concealer. My shade is custard. Sobrang onti lang. Actually, meron akong video how to spot conceal. You might want to check that out. Tsaka ko siya itadab ng konti ng powder. I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer. Guys, this is another product that I really enjoyed. Kasi it really looks natural. So, the bronzer I'm using is the one from Vice. So, this is the Lit Up Shy Palette. May review ako na that. If yung goal mo is to look very natural, almost no makeup makeup, this bronzer is the best bronzer for that, in my opinion. <laughs> Kunwari, nagpa-araw ako, kahit hindi naman ako nagpa-araw. Char. <laughs> it has a little bit of sheen. 
it didn't mattify my face but it did give a little bit of warmth on my skin and a little bit on my nose parang bumalik yung definition i really like this bronzer hands down next is i'll just brush my brows Yes, I am not going to apply any brow products for this kasi naglaminate ako ng brows ko. And I think my brows are already thick enough. So, kapag nag-add pa ako ng any products on my brows, baka masyado na siyang dark tingnan dun sa makeup ko kasi my makeup looks almost barely there. So, I think that's okay na. Because I just wanna, you know man, just elevate my look just a little bit without looking overdone. Na nasa beach ako. That's the goal. And also, I'm not going to apply any product on my lashes. Kasi my lashes are currently permed. Ako lang din nag-perm yun. Hindi na rin na maglalagay ng any mascara. Masaya na ako just sa ganyan. But it's up to you if you want to apply. But if you're going to apply mascara, I suggest you use this one. It's the Heroin Make Super Waterproof Mascara. It's in top notch. <laughs> super, super duper waterproof talaga siya. <laughs> now for the last touch, um, lip file. This one is my current favorite, tung squad. Natutuwa ako sa kanya. Ang ganyan ako. Kasi yung pagka-pink niya sa akin, hindi siya OA. Alam mo, hindi siya yung mukhang magenta pink na parang unnatural tingnan. I also apply a layer of lip balm with SPF. I have this one na may SPF 50. Kaso this one is from Australia. May nag binigay lang din sa akin to. But minsan, ang nire-reapply ko is the one from Intuit. I don't have it here right now in my vanity but here's how it looks. Pataas din yung SPF niya. I think nasa 20 ata. So, there. That's that. That's my look. Ito yung usual look ko pag lumalabas kami, pag magdi-dinner kami, and kapag may nagbabrunch kami, gano'n. Siyempre, gusto ko maganda pa rin ako sa picture ko. Pag gano'n. Kaya naglalagay pa rin ako ng konting makeup. But, kung hindi ka naman naglalagay ng makeup, okay lang din. Good for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> But, ayun, kanya-kanya tayo ng trip, girls. <laughs> and, ah, yeah, I almost forgot. I also use setting spray pala. So, I used this one from Milani. Ito yung dewy setting spray nila. I think they also have one with with SPF, but I don't have that. So, ito lang muna. Then, dinekan ko lang siya ulit sa ganitong lagayan. Ayan. Pati hair ko, ganito lang din. Nung nandun kami, simple low ponytail lang. So, there. Here is the look. It looks so fresh lang talaga. It looks so natural. Actually, this kind of look is something you can wear then on a daily basis. Alam mo yun. Lalo kung if you're not a fan of wearing foundation, this could work for you. So, here's how it looks up close. Para makita niya talaga in texture and all. Look at the concealer. It's it looks so natural talaga yung concealer na gamit ko, guys. You should try that one. <laughs> so yan. So guys, ayan, nakapang workout clothes na ako. <laughs> so as usual, papakita ko sa inyo how this makeup will look like after I do my workout. It is currently 5. So, mamaya ang gabi pa naman ang mag-workout. Usually, gabi ako nag-workout. Ipapakita ko rin sa inyo dito how it looks after I do my workout. Para makita nyo kung wearable din ba siya kapag pinawisan ka. Alam mo, may wear test din yung ganito klaseng look. How it works. So, yeah. I'll show you here in a while. Hey guys, now I'm done with my workout. So, ayan. Isa pa isa ko super. <laughs> Here's how it looks. Well, definitely there are some creasing on my under eyes here. Tapos yung powder sa under eyes ko, yan, visible siya. But, overall dun sa face ko, as you can see, still looks good. The blush is still there. Visible pa rin nga yung 
yung bronzer, pag tinignan mo sa malaya, it's still there. And then, yun, yung sa eyes naman, kasi talaga super duper pa always talaga ako kanina. So, I think it's normal naman talaga for the concealer to crease. But during my trip naman, siguro since hindi naman talaga sobrang tindi ng pawis ko, yung concealer ko, I use the same concealer naman kasi. Okay naman siya, talaga nag nagtagal naman siya. So, the concealer, I think it's forgivable for me ha. Kasi onting ganyan ko lang. Onting ganyan ko lang, okay na siya ulit. See? There are minimal creasing here. Pero hindi siya super bothersome. I mean, it still looks okay. Pero yung sa powder lang dito. Just smudge it like that. And we're good. It's done. See? So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know your thoughts. Did you enjoy it? Did you like this look? Please comment down below. So I would like to thank to my new subscribers. I was surprised na nadagdagan subscribers ko. I know hindi pa masya super significant amount of subscribers, but I do appreciate those who subscribe to my channel. And for those who are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I really appreciate it. Please help me grow this channel, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope I'll see you again on my next one. Bye.